Hello and welcome. Okay, so I upgraded to Windows 11 yesterday and ever since I've been having crash after crash after crash. So I haven't been able to get any proper tutorials finished. So what I'm going to do today is just provide a tip. And this tip is based upon a question asked in the comments section about different sized metahumans and the kind of slouched or bent. If you look here in the viewport, you can actually see that this metahuman, which is I believe it is the male, short, underweight body. Okay, so it's slightly shorter than Manny. And as you can see, he's kind of bent over like this. And so let's address that today. Let me just get rid of this camera. There we go. So we now we can see all these settings down here. If we go to here where it says root settings and click that, if you scroll down to blend to source and you just adjust this slightly, Look what it does to the legs. See that? No, don't go crazy with this. Maybe there. And as you can see, it's straightened the legs. See? We can, depending on the metahuman you're using, make other adjustments. So in chain mapping, you could, for example, uh, adjust the arms in the same way. Come down to IK, blend source, and you can move the arms like this like by blending them to the source. Uh, legs, you can do the same for legs. So you would find, for example, left leg, and you can make adjustments that way. If we look here, look, if you look at the foot in particular, and then we go blend to source. It's just moving the foot. Look, see that? I'm going to actually just do this slightly. There you go. But yeah, so that's it. It's just, it can be that simple. And you can just play with the settings. There's all, all these here with uh, the blend source weight, static offsets. Just play with them until you get the desired result. Right, so if we play, uh, for example, a run animation, it should all be fine now. Okay, so let's just export this animation. What I'm going to do, I'll give you another tip here, is come to the search for box and do MM, which is the name down here, look, MM, and replace this with MH for MetaHuman. It's just a simpler way to remember which animation is for which. And then I'm going to go to MetaHumans. I already have this animations folder. If you don't, right click, go new folder and create a folder there. We're going to place it in this animations folder though. And so export and here is our animation. So if I open that up, here's our MetaHuman and it looks fine. Not perfect, but fine. And that's it. Okay, I hope you found that tip useful. As I said, once I've got my system set up, I will continue with proper tutorials. I'm hoping to get things rolling again tomorrow when I get home. Probably I'm looking about Wednesday for a proper tutorial, but we'll see. All right, remember to like and subscribe if you found this tip useful. And I will see you in the next one.